because yeah. I was about to ask you if there is like um, a point in your life when you said I was going to do this or a point in your life when God broke your heart about something. It was, I mean, there had been, there have been other cases a lot. This one was, uh, was very interesting because I'd never been so low. Like I'd never seen myself being so disobedient and so far away from God, you know, because I don't remember myself as not a Christian. Like I had been a Christian for so long uh, since childhood and uh, I went to a Christian college and with this confidence that I'll just continue to grow more and more in my relationship with Christ. And uh, the thing is that I was confident in my belief and in my strength of faith not necessarily confident in the fact that God will never leave me. So I focus so much in this strength of mind that that's where the slippery slope uh, started basically. And confidence in yourself, I realize it never protects you from all the, all let's say the uh, temptations that life has to offer, especially as a college student. So uh, for eight months, like it started very slowly with very little things. And then I saw myself so far away from God, like I would, uh, I would still go to church, not necessarily have the real guts to call myself a Christian anymore, if someone would ask me sincerely, uh, basically. And then at some point, my best friend says, hey, it's this life changing conference is going to happen and uh, you have got to come. And I was not sure. Uh, I'm like, how do you know it's life changing? You've never been there. But she she pursued me, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. The first day it was it was fun. It was new people, new friends, uh, nothing that had to do with God. The second day, it was when God totally broke me and gave me the strength to truly surrender what I was holding back from Him. It was very it was a major point because like. Until then, I had not, I had not seen myself as without God, and that night I saw myself without God and then with God, and what huge difference that made. The next day, I said the crazy sentence to to Martin of, "Hey, we need to have this in Albania," <laughs> <laughs> and I never realized. Yeah, I know. It just started as, "Hey, we need to have this in Albania." And I never realized that he would go through with it. And three weeks later, I'd receive an email saying, Hey, do you remember that you said we have to have this in Albania, so let's have it. No, I don't. <laughs> I know. I'm like, really? Was that me? Uh, but that's where the, the craziest journey started. But it's the most exciting one so far. And every year we learn that it's, it's God's thing. It's always God in control. Uh, it's just about that. Like you take that obedience, that tiny, tiny step when you're at the point of giving up you trust in him and then you see like this crazy amazing just wonderful wild god and what he can do basically so it's it's just it's beautiful